What's going on with Alabama? That's the question everybody's wondering. That's the question I'm going to answer for you. Alabama doesn't have the coaches staff like they used to have, obviously. Nick Saban has thrown together these guys, Tommy Reese, Kevin Steele, and they're just not the caliber of a coaches staff that they used to have. Like that Nick Saban, you know, he used to have Lane Kiffin. He used to have Kirby Smart. Even Scott Cochran, as our uh, strength and conditioning coaches, they're gone. And then you go into a game where you're at home and you get beat down. You lose the line of scrimmage when we're supposed to be the best offensive line in the country. The hype. Is what people are saying. People were people were saying that our offensive line was going to be the best, and it can still be the best. It's just going to take some time, maybe. But we've seen this over the years. We've seen it last year. We saw it year before. Alabama doesn't go out there and dominate teams like they used to. They don't just blow out teams anymore. Every every team we face now is a fight, no matter the opponent. I mean. SEC wise, it's a fight. We are not blowing out every SEC team like we used to in 2015, 2017. We're not blowing teams out and being dominant. We don't have Steve Sarkeesian anymore. So what we have is what we have. And the trajectory of Alabama this year and in the future is still going to be we're still going to be a great football team but we're not going to be national championship caliber team anymore. And I think it's time that the dynasty is probably over. I don't know. I just think that Nick Saban needs to move on. He's getting to that age that not try. I mean, he he's done what he needs to do. What else does he need to do? You know, he's done so much. It's we got to start pointing fingers at Nick Saban. Putting the staff together is his doing. Getting this football team ready for Texas is his doing. And we didn't look anything close to what an Alabama team should look like. Maybe Texas is a national championship contender. We still got beat by 10 points. So we're 10 points worse than a national championship contender. And that's the best case scenario. What if Texas is a three-loss team? We're, we're 10 points worse than a, a three-loss team. At home. That's not... Alabama football. That's not how we were. That's not how we, we should be. And that's not uh, as a Bama fan going into the season, you know, you're 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 super optimistic and you're just like, yeah, we're gonna win another national championship. We got Nick Saban, we got the best offensive line. We got Jalen Milrow, who is gonna be a lot better than he looked last year. And at points, he did. There's some good from the game that I took away. You know, he he really can throw that deep ball. His, his deep ball accuracy is pretty, it looked pretty good. I was pretty impressed by that. But his intermediate passing and his quick decision making was a lot to desire. He, he, he can't. He makes his first read, and if it's not there, he's just going to take off. Which sometimes is good. You know, him running is... But we're just not the dominant team. And if, if I were to... And there's a lot of people that were... Um, a lot of YouTubers that I kind of got onto about giving us three losses. 
that's that's seeming a lot more likely now and they're they're looking a lot less dumb now and i'm looking like a homer which i am a homer but for anybody in my mind to anybody to think that we were losing three games this year was blasphemy but three losses to us is is terrible but it's not a bad season. Maybe I need to start thinking like a normal college football fan and not an Alabama fan that has been spoiled for the last 15 years. Maybe I need to start enjoying college football and if my team ain't national championship in the national championship game then you know it's okay. I still enjoy college football either way. So, yeah, I don't think, and a lot of people are going to say, well, it's one loss. You're overreacting. We've been, we've been seeing this. This has been a long time coming. Last year, barely scraping by games. And this year, we're not barely scraping by games anymore. We are losing games. Two double-digit margins. And it's going to happen again. If we don't make a change, some changes, I don't know what's going on with the quarterback situation. I don't know if they're going to bench Jalen Milrow. I don't know. I mean, he looked... He didn't look the best. But there were some things that you could take away from the game that if he could just not turn the ball over, then he would be pretty good, I would say. <laughs> but that's hard to teach. Anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. That's all I had to say. But um, uh, I'll always be here no matter what. I'm not some fan, Bama fan that's not going to be here if... Alabama isn't the best team in the nation. I'm always going to be here because I'm a true Alabama fan. And I love Alabama. I love college football. I love NFL. I love football. I love the sport of football. So um, that's all I got. Roll Tide. And uh, see you guys later. <laughs>